Hello guys, Mark Savage here. Been a while since I've done a vlog. I'm amazed you're in shutdown. <laughs> a lockdown. How many people are actually walking about still? I've never seen so many dog walkers <laughs> and joggers in my life. Now, just because anyone's wondering why I'm on the road, I've just finished work. Um, I'm not saying I'm a super key worker, but I have to work, so that's what I'm coming back from now. Anyway, today's vlog. If you might notice, I'm really sketchy around these corners and the roundabout. Yesterday, I fitted some brand new tyres. Metzler, not Michelin, Metzler M5s on my lovely Ducati Multistrada. Now, these are just amazing bikes. And, except for the fuel gauge, which is really pissing me off, because it says, full, empty. <laughs> you know, there seems to be no happy medium there at all. But, multi striders. if you're going to come off a sports bike and want to go onto all-terrain bikes, this is your bike you're going to want. 150 brake horsepower, the response from these bikes is sports-like. It really will go some. Um, all round, I've had three now, a black Mark 1 and a Mark 2, and I'm really enjoying this Mark 1. Gear change is a lot smoother, except for the new tyres, which is a little bit scary at present minute. I'm enjoying it. So yesterday I pulled up in the shop and I only opened up a tiny bit. I'm on 150 brake. You can adjust the power out on here. But it's a bit of a palaver to be honest with you, so I just left it on high. I like to think where well, I can control it by the throttle, but it, it is all there. And as I pulled away, yeah, it just went left, right, and I was like, ooh! I tried to coin that word the other day, uh, terror sighted, you know, terrified and excited. I was uh, nice and cagey now. I was terrified, that's just, that's it, you know. There was no excitement there, I was like, ooh, good die. So this is how I rode this morning, it was minus one this morning on the way to work. And I hadn't scrubbed the tyres at all. So I was quite worried. I mean, straight line, you're not worrying, but haven't really worn these tyres in at all. So I can't say what they perform like. However, I did say I don't like the Michelin Road Pilots 4. They were on here. I've had them now on quite a few of my bikes. They seem to be very popular. I don't like them. They wear very, very quickly. They're a good bit of money as well. But they just wear so bloody quickly. Straight down the middle, because, you know, you've got to ride carefully. And what you seem to end up with is like 7mm on the sides and like 1mm in the middle. That's not very good. This has got a DCAT MIV exhaust on this. You get a nice little bit of acceleration, nice bit of power out of her as well. And you get the little pops and bangs. Um, I do like a noisy exhaust. The baffle is in. Yep, I know. Take it easy. I mean, it's about three or four degrees now that the sun's out. Yeah. I was even worried about spinning out a little bit there. But uh, you don't. Look at these roads. This, this is self-isolating. This is what we call self-isolating, isn't it? Motorcyclists, self-isolating since I started riding. You're on your own, you got your gloves, you got your helmet. Always wear balaclava underneath, what more do you want? Listen, a top tip. Petrol stations at present minute, all open still, you can get petrol. But you think, if they're infected, are going to the petrol stations, they're touching the fuel pump, isn't they? So my top tip will be, keep your gloves on. Alright, and I wonder will now they moan at some of these Tesco garages when they say, take your helmet off. You can say, no actually, I don't want to take my helmet off because I'm self-isolating, thanks. Oh, no slip. I'm so tempted just to actually say, give it a little bit more lean. Yeah, I wonder where we stand with the petrol stations now. You know, keep under 30 pound, you can still dab, otherwise you've got to touch the fingers on the buttons, haven't you? I'm not saying I'm giving Corona advice or anything, or COVID-19 advice. What I am saying, make sense, keep your gloves on when you fill up with petrol. Because you don't know who's touched the pump before you. The thousands of hands that have touched that. Because they most certainly don't wipe them down. 
people, not that I've ever seen. And if it's done first thing in the morning and last thing at night, then, you know, still loads of, oh, 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 oh. no, that's okay. The acceleration is just beautiful. Really is. The handling of this. Now, I've said it already. It handles a lot better than the Mark II. How mad's that? I mean, yes, you've got the problem with the servicing of this bike. The plugs are an absolute bitch to get. Um, I've done no change. That video is coming out after this one. I'm actually waiting for my new camera. I've got Hero 4 and the little mic on here. And I did a little video yesterday in my shed just to help moped riders because I get asked the same questions all the time. And uh, it's okay, I'm not going to fall over there. I mean, I'm giving a little bit of bank, you know, I want to roll the bike around a little bit. But then drivers think you're a twat, don't they, because you're messing around. But they do, they do just go well, and this is, this is a much nicer ride than the Mark II. I don't know what, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. This feels lighter, it's not puffed up as much. Um, and like I say, I don't know because it's got a decat MIV on it. This is 150 standard, without the cat on there and the MIV exhaust. What's that got to add? 5, 10 brake horsepower? It's got to. Power command as well. So I'm guessing I'm probably running at the same as the uh, Mark II. I just, oh, why well, can't I put my finger on it? I just didn't enjoy the ride as much as I'm enjoying this. So that's going to be difficult, anybody actually thinking of buying a, a Mark II coming off Mark One. What's your views? Uh, and a little bit of dirt on the road here, lawyer driver, thank you, you can stay there. Stone in the road. I'll be happy when this bloody roadworks are done, they've been here since September. I mean, how long does it take to bloody move around about and put some side bits on? Mind you, the way the roads are now, it is, this is lovely riding, this really is. What are we now? 10 to 9 in the morning. <coughs> and they are, well, I suppose, busier than I expected. You know, I really expect them to be really quiet, you know. It's not really lockdown, is it? You've got everybody still about. I mean, like me, I'm a key worker. I had to be at work today. I had to get all the emails. I could have done at home, but there's still the face-to-face -face bits I've got to do. And when I say face-to-face, -face, I don't mean talking to people. I mean walking around the site and so on. A lot of people now are in the same boat here, aren't they, with work. I'm, I'm quite worried for some people. You know, it's all right, the government's saying stay at home, but you've got bills to pay. The electric company, poll tax or whatever, council tax, they still want their 150, 200 pounds. They want that next Wednesday, the 1st of April. You know, you've got your, your gas, electric, your water rates, everything else. Uh, what's happened here? We have police slow down and a large lorry swinging out. Oh, that looks a bit nasty, doesn't it? What's he done there then? Tried to swing in? I mean, there doesn't seem to be no other car involved. Oh my god, he's just whacked. Oh dear. So it's the first one he's come to. You can see that bit there. He's just hit that hard. So, was he asleep or something? Just drove straight into the post there. Wasn't very clever, was it? With all the uh, quietness on the roads, it still chuckled me the other day that the A12 is a terrible road and someone had an accident there. And I think, come on mate, there's more than less than half the cars, that makes even sense. So less half cars on the road, you still have an accident. And that's at what, I don't know, that doesn't look like it just happened and I said it's nearly nine o'clock. Now this roundabout I normally give it someone. Nice little pop there. But I'm in the second gear because I just don't want to give it some here. I want to lean a little bit more. I feel like I want to go round and round and round and round and round about. Oh, let's see if it goes now. Absolutely lovely. I've got to be honest with you. There was an M3 the other day. <laughs> and they can go some. And he, he got me on the... Uh, I wasn't ready for a little play. I did have a little play with him, but I wasn't ready for it. And I've got to say, he did get me. I thought if he had kept his foot down, I would never pass him. But uh, there you go. Now, I don't know if any of you watch a lot of my videos or not, 
I got new motorbike gear last year and a new Premier helmet. It's got this little beak on it. Bloody hell, it's noisy. And the beak, I find it shakes the helmet and it actually like shakes my vision. Does that make sense? I get like a wobble in my, my eyes when I uh, do sensible speeds. Now you can see the dash, I know you can. Someone moaned that the Mark II is much better dash. Yeah, it's nice colour. And it's got some more features on it. This is a little bit Neanderthal when it comes to the old buttons. You've got to press one and up, one and that sort of stuff. <coughs> but, it's still not classic, is it? Third gear, look at that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Um, it's got to fit you on there. Trip meter. The bottom one does this little bit here. Tells you how many miles to go and you get in. How much you've got to go to fill up. Temperature and then your modes as well. I always love a gear indicator. Nice big rev counter. On the Mark II you can change it all around, I know, but on this one you can't. But it's still purposeful. Now I'll give this a nice little oil change the other day. Video coming up with that. And I like the fact that on the K&M filter, which I bought this time, it's actually got a 17mm spanner nut on the bottom of it. So you don't need my little kit that I normally have. And you don't have to have the, the, the grips. Because I found that because of the bottom belly pan, on my first video, well, well, you, 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 no, you keep coming, mate, wouldn't you? He didn't want to stop, did he? Anyway, where was I going to go? <laughs> it's got a camera on here. You stay there, mate. Getting it off, I used the grips rather than dropping the belly pan, which I think I did last time. But getting the new one on, that was really easy. Just squeezed it in. And because I've got the 70mm span on the bottom of it, it tied up nicely. So I was happy with that. Look, dog walkers. There's loads of them. The clutch on this is a little bit snatchy. So when I'm in second gear and I'm coming up around about there, I'm finding that I just can't let the clutch go. Look, jam brakes on, no indicators. Jam brakes on, no indicators. Where are you going, mate? Oh, well done. He's just learned. Look, where are we just supposed to go with that? You know, he's in the middle of the fucking road. No indicators. And you've got to guess which way he's going to go. Some people are knobheads. I'll just say I don't know how accidents happen. And there's a, a, a perfect example. I'm guessing he thinks as the roads are quiet, he's got the whole bloody road. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much. It was just a little chat really, I'm going to do a couple of these little vlogs. As you're sitting at home bored shitless, because uh, we're not going out. I'm sort of doing, not part time I guess, but I've got to sit at home. Next video, as I said, I'm hoping for my new camera to come today, it's a Hero 5, um, Wi-Fi and everything else. I need to get back to my good editing software again. And uh, I might try and place the 4 facing the other way, so you've got my face, <laughs> and I can go forward and backwards, I don't know, maybe in the back box or something, I haven't figured it out yet. But it definitely should be a lot better than my early days when I was having an iPhone 5 which are my lot of uh, educational videos on the speed fights and air boxes and so on and obviously I think I've got a little better cameras makes it more enjoyable to watch and, and lighting and so on and I said to you I'm no movie expert there are 460 odd videos I'm going to add in the description a couple of my other vlogs if you like vlogs that is Ran out there a few times, actually, and that panicked me there a little bit, um, with good tyres. See the snatchy, can you see that? It is right, right there. Just got to get used to that. I sort of have to double clutch it, I come to a roundabout and I kind of go like that, you know, you get the lurch out of it and it sort of worries me a little bit. Anyway, there we go, vlog's coming up, couple of views coming up, finishing off of this, Deckel's coming on this one, and I will get a ped in for the ped lovers. Don't like him, you can skip then, can't you? Another jogger! Yay! Another dog walker! So I'm trying to say, 
social isolating. I go these roads every time and I never see people walking their dog. Never. You have a lot of fit dogs, or well, maybe a lot of fit people as well. Or not. The gyms are shut, aren't they? I'm glad I've got my little multi gym now. I mean, you can't get a fridge for love, no money, or freezer. That's a bit crap. <laughs> I bet multi gyms are, uh, and cycle machines and stuff. See, old boy there. Stay indoors, you know. He's getting his daily shop. Right. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Stay well. She's not got a dog of her. And I will keep making these videos. Bye-bye.